Hi everyone. Welcome to the course Kafka Security. So this is the course about Kafka Security. Before me starting with the course material, I would like to make a suggestion. For the folks who don't know about Kafka, or those who are new to Kafka, I would highly recommend you to go through the complete Kafka course for beginners tutorial. So the one which you you know which you can see on the screen. So this course will cover all the basic concept. You'll be able to create your own producer and consumer, and you can talk to the Kafka server, and you can create your own cluster. So it will be useful in all ways. So meanwhile, if you have any question, you can drop me an email, or you can you know you can ask in Q A section. So I want to give you some background about Kafka security. So in the versions older than zero point nine, security was achieved by maintaining access at network level, which was not a good option when we use the multi-tenant cluster for the large application. Consequently, securing Kafka has been one of the most requested features. Security is one of the most important dimensions in today's world. where everyone wants to access everyone's data kafka community added a number of features that can be used you know to increase kafka cluster security addressing security threats are crucial in today's world as it is threatened by the wide variety of cyber attacks so apache kafka can become a good choice for an enterprise messaging system so that is the reason the in recent version that is 0.10 they added many features so these features are used individually or you know together so that we can increase the security in the cluster so in the following slides we will see what are the currently supported security measures in kafka version 0.10 so if you see the first one that is authentication of connections between brokers and clients so if you see the diagram here so if you see the external clients and the internal clients they are trying to talk to a kafka cluster a cluster is nothing but a set of kafka brokers so in this communication we want to enable the security so this kind of communication is called connections between brokers and clients so this authentication will provide the security in this layer so if you see the next one authentication of connections between brokers and zookeeper so zook when it comes to kafka zookeeper is an important component it will store all the metadata so it will store the you know consumer offsets and we will we will also talk about what are the recent changes in 0.10 but for now just remember kafka will uh, store all the you know metadata so it is important to you know enable the security or encryption between this layer and the next feature is encryption of data using ssl so as i mentioned it is performance impact if you enable ssl definitely your performance is going to degrade if you use one way authentication it will go bit low if you enable two way authentication then definitely it will go uh, around 50% so um so so we have encryption between brokers and clients and between the brokers and broker and other tools so when i say between brokers so when you enable you know uh, as you know if you are aware that in kafka we have we have partitions and replications so when you enable replications so this kafka broker has to the data has to replicate from one broker to another broker so in that situation we want to encrypt the data so this is about the inter broker communication and the next one is authorization of read and write this is nothing but acl access control list so if you use if you 
use only one topic or if you are the only user using this entire cluster then you are good you don't need this acl but if you are a part of you know managed cluster your cluster is being used by many users then it is difficult to maintain because any user can access any topic so they can send the data they can receive the data this is not a good practice so that is that is the reason we have to enable aca acl so that we can restrict the access on a particular topic level or a host level so we will see everything so before starting i want to introduce you two concepts that is what is authentication and what is authorization so what is the difference so i am going to give you all the details so currently kafka supports the the listed ports the first one is plain text when you use plain text we are not enabling any encryption and we are also not enabling any authentication you just send the message receive the message that's it simple and the next one is ssl when you use ssl so we are internally encrypting the data and also we are using it as authentication but this is limit, limited authentication and the next one is sasl it is also called as kerberos authentication so uh, i want to mention this point in this tutorial we are not you know uh, covering the kerberos part because it is a vast subject i have to introduce you about the kerberos so this is not you know uh, the something which we are covering in this tutorial if you are aware of how to use kerberos then i will provide you the material so that you can develop this security so except kerberos i'm going to explain you how to enable the encryption security i mean authentication authorization we are going to cover so the last one is you can also use both ssl and sasl it means so when you use this both ssl and sasl this ssl is used for encryption purpose sasl is used for you know authentication purpose so okay we enable from the broker side or the kafka side or cluster side but it is client responsibility to configure correct credentials or the you know correct port then only you will be able to achieve you know whatever the you a aimed for so because this uh, you know port uh, using a correct port is the main for the you know correct communication so we will cover this different how to configure uh, from your client side also so if you have any questions you can drop me an email in directly uh, you can check my profile and there you can send me a message and the next option is you can drop me an email as i mentioned it here and you can post it in qa also so for any comments or if you have anything feel free to reach out to me so see you in the next lecture guys thank you